We are requiring our kids in our public schools to learn Islamic prayers and what would be the equivalent of the Jewish and the Christian Ten Commandments, something called the Five Pillars of Islam. Okay, so parents of students at a Florida high school outraged after some of their kids were being forced, as you heard there, to recite the Koran. The school's history textbook dictating an entire, dedicating an entire chapter, rather, to the rise of Islam, but missing from the pages, Christianity and Judaism. Should this be allowed here to debate it? Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce and vice president of Ahmadiyya, Muslim community in USA, and author of Demystifying Islam, Harris Safar. Thank you both for being here. It's my pleasure. Hot debate right now. Some parents are outraged that this is even taking place. Is, just the, is this merely an exploration of religion? Well, because investing in our uh, education is one of the greatest demonstrations of our commitment to the future, we actually applaud and appreciate uh, any, any uh, teachers that provide a well-rounded education to our children. And that means not just learning about one thing, but a comprehensive knowledge on a subject matter, which is why within the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, we're led by the Khalifa of Islam, who's the most significant Muslim leader in the world. And he doesn't call for indoctrination of our children or forcing our religion on others, but he does call for a separation of religion and state, a church and state, and also for advocating for the pursuit of knowledge, a comprehensive secular knowledge. And I think that's what's really going on here. It's not a matter of choosing one religion over the other. The, the spokesperson already said, they were learned about Judaism and Christianity in previous years. This is the first time in 10th grade they're finally being introduced to Islam, and that's what that's all about. So the concern is that when the first 100 pages discussing <coughs> Judaism and Christianity were missing from this actual right. textbook. Is that the problem that you have with this, or is it in the fact that they're talking about this in a public school? Tammy, you well, say? Yeah, there's a big difference between teaching about religion and teaching religion. And I think this is what the parents' problem was, is that you can learn about the history, great history of all the religions, of course, and then there's a difference when it comes to prayers. I would think that uh, Muslims would also have an issue if in uh, a, a madrasa you were needing to recite Jewish prayers. I think that that would be resisted. So when you're looking at a secular dynamic... Uh, no, actually, no, because we actually read from the, uh, the Elder Testament and the New Testament well, but as reading, part of but our I faith. Would say, but see, that's the difference, is that reading from... <laughs> A, a book or looking at some dynamics within a book of a holy book for a religion is one thing. These kids were having, we had a prayer on a blackboard, were having to repeat it. One of the take home projects was to make a prayer rug. And yet there is a remarkable history when you're going to teach history. And in this textbook, and it's not just this one school and one parent, many districts are saying, yes, we've got to have this book rewritten because it does move into an experience of engaging in the religion and teaching the religion versus teaching teaching about it. And of course, when you've got 100 pages missing from the textbook, it also sends a message that maybe there is a different agenda at work here. But what it also tells you is the importance of the parents being involved in their children's education, because sure. you don't know what's going to really be happening in, in a curriculum. Harris, do you draw that line there to differentiate the teaching and the teaching about? here because if it's done incorrectly then it actually mm -hmm. takes away the opportunity for kids to learn properly about religion would you say in fairness that's what's happening here oh, yeah, absolutely that uh, if any subject it's really a matter of how the teacher teaches it and we only really have this one story coming out of florida so we don't know exactly everything that happened but i mean we have to talk about what are we really talking about here are we saying that we should ban all religion from being mentioned in school so should we not well, talk about not. jesus or the ten commandments well, that's not the issue here and but again there's the history of, of a religion and then there is teaching the, the practice of that religion and I think that's what the parent had a problem with. And again, other districts are having a problem with Unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, well. no one was asked to actually bow down and do the prayer. It's well, reading from the, the, the our rubs. scripture. Our scripture is like you read from the Ten Commandments. <laughs> and that's we're just asking people to be 21st century citizens. And that's what we're helping our children to become. We thank you both for being here. It's yeah. a hot debate happening right now. We want you to continue it by letting us know what you think about it. Harris and Tammy, thank you. Thank you so much.